Lila from Chef Stuart Ralston is located on Royal Terrace, Edinburgh. There are remains of Michelin star chef Paul Kitchen's legacy evident, with the word restaurant still inscribed above the door. We dined on a Friday lunchtime. The menu has a strong focus on Scottish seafood, with a 10-course tasting menu for dinner and five courses for lunch. The sleek modern furniture is relaxed and beautiful, and with a thoughtful attention to detail. These bite-sized massive pieces set the tone for the entire meal, a homage to the fromage of alt blossom cheese with pressed flowers. These incredible bites of soft saltiness and the pearls popping in your mouth. Before we even start our five courses, the insanely good bread course with not one but two butters. The warm brioche bread was melt in the mouth, raising my expectations and excitement. What a visually stunning plate of intricate design, small register slices meticulously arranged to create an exquisite work of culinary art. Stuart Ski is the Somalia here and presents both our pairings, a soft drink and a wine pairing. The first wine is the Soho Mayer Sake from Japan. It was clean, clear and silky with a long mineral finish and very dry. The non-alcoholic pairing was a seedlip martini with samphire, clear, smooth and slightly briny. This dish reminds me of Cullen's skink and every mouthful was rich and comforting with the perfect balance of smoky, creamy and aromatics. Soft drink with sparkling fermented royal flush tea, very fragrant and delicately acidic and an Italian Bianco Leonardo Busoletti which was savoury, complex and very dry. This dish came with a side of wow, another visually striking plate of partridge legs decorated with edible flowers arranged in a herb garden. Plated was breast of partridge with foie gras and an unctuous sauce served up alongside it. Soft drink was a delicious earthly and viscous beetroot juice and a French wine Marcel Lapierre, aromas of big juicy fruits, cherries on the palate, bright acidity. Although not big fans of rhubarb, this surprised us. The goat's milk crumble was light and cold against a very subtle taste of rhubarb. This dessert strikes the perfect balance between rich velvety chocolate and the deep umami flavour of fermented barley. The chocolate cigar is a particular favourite. This milkshake was playful and enjoyable. And the final wine, sensational dessert wine brimming with honey, caramel, almonds and vanilla, leading us perfectly onto petit fours of coffee shoe crackling and praline bonbons. Chef Stuart Ralston has created a culinary playground here and most definitely a lunch I won't forget.